In this video, I'm going to show you how to create journeys in MailChimp. If you've already created journeys in MailChimp, you can see those journeys from the left hand menu, then automations or journeys. From there, you can see a list of the journeys you've created. And if you click on view report, you can see a report on how successful those journeys have been. You have two choices when you want to create a new journey. You can build a journey from scratch or you can choose a pre-built journey. If we click on choose a pre-built journey, from this page, you can choose from a library of MailChimp's many pre-built journeys, or you can use AI to generate a journey for you. If we choose a standard, that is a non-AI template for recovering abandoned carts, this journey sends a personalized targeted email to first time repeat customers who abandon their cart. And here it shows us the journey that the customer will be taken on. So if we click use this journey, we can then go through the process of setting up this journey for our company. At the top, we need to select a store, save starting point. Once we've selected the store, then the condition will be set that the contact abandons a cart on this store. This pre-built journey sends a different email to customers depending on whether they have purchased in the past or not purchased in the past. So once they have abandoned a product in the cart, that is the entry point of this journey, they reach a condition. And that condition is this segment is there has been purchase activity in the past and that purchase activity is they have purchased. So if we click use segment and we can see here there's a yes no condition so if they have purchased in the past they'll get one particular type of email and if they haven't purchased in the past i.e. no then they'll get a different type of email. And if you click on the email you can see the details of the email which are being sent. This is built in a similar way to all other MailChimp emails. If you're happy with those conditions, the customers will enter this flow as soon as they start abandoning their cart on the website. A quick way of building a journey is to use an AI powered journey. If we click on an AI powered journey, for example, recover abandoned carts, Belgium's AI engine will generate the content for this journey. And we can simply just review it and then click turn on. If you have a specific journey which you want to build, which is not covered by any of the templated journeys, you can click build from scratch. You need to give the journey a name, so let's call it test journey. And from here, we can go through a process of building the journey. So the first question is how will the contact start their journey? So let's choose a starting point. So the number of different events you can add as a starting point for the customer entering into this journey. Customer's contact activity. This, for example, could be they sent for an email or a tag is added to their profile in the MailChimp audience. A date of a special event. This could be triggered by their sign up date. Shopping activity. This could be when they buy a certain product or time since their last purchase or when they abandon a card. Or marketing activity. An example of this is when they interact with an email. If we choose shopping activity as the entry point, in this case, I'm going to specify that it's a particular time since their last purchase. So this is a customer that's bought from the past, but a certain time period in the past. So we need to choose a store first, and then we choose, let's choose 30 days since time has passed since their last purchase. We save the starting point. Next, we need to add a journey point. Journey point can be a number of different things. It can, for example, be a rule. So the, the options here are if else, suspended split, wait for trigger or time delay. So if else, is splitting the, the people that enter the journey based on some sort of filter. So I'm going to select a filter here. I'm going to say that the sign up source, and we've got a choice here, was, and then you could say an option could be if it was added an import, and then you can choose a particular import date and say so use that segment. So what we're doing here is specifying a segment. And if it meets a condition, then one thing will happen. If it meets a, a meet, does not meet a condition, another thing can happen. So in this case, we could say, okay, let's add another journey point here. And that journey point could be a time delay. We're going to delay for a week. In this case, if it's no, we're going to leave it as they exit the journey. So add another journey point on this point, have an action. And the action we're going to choose is send an email, at which point we would design the email we could, for example, then if we want to send them a follow-up email, we add a journey point and we're going to add wait for a trigger. And that trigger could be a contact activity that they buy a specific product. So let's type in a product names and save that. 
and then another journey point, and that is we want to send them. If that happens, then we'll send them an email. So you can see we can build a very complicated decision tree based on a customer journey using this build a customer journey tool.